almost all set to go now for the elite women's race and Alice Sharp is back to defend the title as she won in Derry a year ago. Uh, Alice, first of all, conditions have deteriorated. What do you think of it for today? Yeah, it's quite windy, but last year in Derry it was raining too, so hopefully it will be a condition that's good for me again. Yeah, as your form coming into this race is pretty good, so are you confident? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been racing in Europe a lot, um, and obviously the racing there is different to here. We have a a much smaller bunch, but I'd say everybody here is just as strong. It's just not as important to be good in the wheel, so it's just like a different style of racing to what I've been doing, but hopefully it'll be fine. A pretty strong field. Do you expect a good competition at the front? Yeah, definitely. I think this is probably the strongest field we've had in a few years, and everybody's had a chance to train more in lockdown and not had so many work commitments and things, so I think for those people it's brought everybody to a more level field, and there's been plenty of racing for everyone to be doing. I'm really excited. It's going to be a really, really tough race. There's a lot of strong women out here, and everyone will be fighting until the line, so really excited. Yeah, I like wind, I like bad weather, so bring it all, I don't mind. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll make it tougher anyway, so we'll see what happens. I think it'll be quite attacking. It's a small field, so I'd say, and everyone's out for themselves at national, so I'd say it's a small field, but I think the girls are going to make it quite hard, so if I can have weather on my side just to wear people out a little bit, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm really looking forward to today's nationals. Um, I haven't actually seen the course. I've been quite busy this week. I only started college, but um, yeah, it seems quite windy and all. But I'm sure it'll be a good race. Good bunch of women, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, it's a very strong field. The girls come home from a broad race, and so it, it, it should be a good race. It's not as hilly as as other races, but I think the wind will play will play a factor, and it should be a hard race. 20.5 kilometer circuits is uh, what the riders face. For Sunday's race action. It's an undulating circuit with a different approach to the finish line in Nocaderi and wind set to play a role. Wet roads greeting the riders for an early morning start in Nocaderi, and it's an elite group of 30 of the finest road races in Ireland that uh, get the action underway. And Eva Crystal, the time trial champion, to get up the road as early as possible. Her immediate predecessor in the role of time trial champion, Kenny Murphy, also showing well and trying to uh, chase down the flying rider from Dundalk. But now it's Mayo woman, Maeve Gallagher, first year senior, the junior national, uh, reigning national champion. Maeve Gallagher trying her luck off the front. Competed in three different sports for Ireland last year. She's a fine triathlete, great runner as well. She is one classy bike rider and is uh, looking anxiously around. Is the Casa Bar Cycling Club rider to see has anyone shown any interest in joining her? Just dangling off the front of that uh, classy group, Anna Smith from Deeside Wheelers, who's made the trip over from Scotland to try and chase down this group. But it's uh, Kelly Murphy from Story Racing, based in Britain, who joins up with Maeve Gallagher up front, and it's the Ballymena Road Club duo of Sharon Bird and uh, former time trial national champion Eileen Burns that makes this a very, very strong quartet in front. And the bunch behind monitoring affairs at a remove of uh, just a few seconds, so it's a narrow advantage, but there's a lot of horsepower in there. And uh, Sharon Bird is certainly keen to show what she's made of, but but it all comes to naught. Larry Gillespie tries a luck off the front. World Championship medalist as a junior. That one's not going to work, and everything being neutralized on this rolling course. Alice Sharp in the orange jersey. Belgium-based professional rider, a member of Ireland's high-performance track squad. Drilling it on the front on this short drag, but Maeve Gallagher's alive to the danger. As indeed is Eve McChrystal, anxious look over uh, her shoulder. Strata 3, Villa Revolution squad, well represented in this field. McChrystal tries her luck again. Maeve Gallagher welded to the wheel. These two, the most recent uh, riders to win the green jersey, a best Irish rider in Ross Lamont. McChrystal, a multi Irish championship medalist in both road race and time trial, in absolutely flying form. First time trial title taken just a few days previously, and she wants to make best use of this wonderful form. Sharon Bird next to 
move off the front. Another rider based in Scotland, the Ulster woman, riding in the colours of Bonamina Road Club. And she and Eileen Burns forming a very effective duo, racing as a team. Such a... Meanwhile, Megan Armitage in the black colours of Wolf Trap Cycling Club, joining Ellen McDermott, former medalist at this level. They're trying to close the gap to our lone leader out front. Sharon Byrne, I think, will be grateful for the assistance of two very strong riders, as Ellen McDermott, full-time bike rider, had planned to race most of her season in Belgium, but unfortunately lockdown put paid to uh, those plans. I see the colours of Bloompods, British registered team. Armitage is the unknown quantity here, but clearly a very strong and emerging talent. Meanwhile, the bunch behind absolutely flying in hot pursuit of the trio. McDermott doing a lot of the legwork. And they get the uh, information that their advantage is not quite what they would hope for. Four laps in total on this 20.5 kilometer circuit, just out of sight of the bunch. Maybe the longest and most effective contribution. And the trio. Working hard, McDermott making it hard for Megan Armitage to hang on in the wheel there and up these drags. Well, it all comes to not long and effective breakaway attempt as uh, Bird moves smoothly through to the front. But that bunch has been whittled down considerably now under the effective marshalling of Alice Sharp and indeed Eve McChrystal looking over her shoulder to see who's still involved. Well, it's a smaller group. And Kelly Murphy, Story Racing, on the attack once more. Well, Murphy is a member of the Irish High Performance uh, Track Pursuit Squad, and she's got plenty of colleagues in here. You wouldn't think that, the way they're racing for metal glory in the road race. Great old round bike rider, and Eve McChrystal knows the sort of horsepower that she's bringing to this, so she immediately moves up and onto the tail. Mia Griffin also in close attendance. Rider from Kilkenny, riding onto the wheel of Eve McChrystal, and Kelly Murphy looks over her shoulder and gets that sinking feeling because this one, while well, there's just so much quality in abundance, so much talent in depth in Irish road racing, and it looks uh, set fair now to come down to a bunch sprint. There's still a large group involved into the closing 500 metres and bursting from the back, the blue colours of UCD, and it's going for the line, and she's surely going to get it, Lara Gillespie, that's a long lead out through to the line, Lara Gillespie, first year student with UCT, powers clear, and Eva Crystal trying to get on terms in the closing moments, but it's hands in the air for Lara Gillespie, an extraordinary achievement for a first year senior, she gets to the line, yeah. and a powerful effort. Amazing, I can't believe it, I'm so amazing, I can't believe it at all. another silver to go with time trial gold from Thursday. Ellen McDermott gets up to repeat her bronze medal of 2017 with Mia Griffin fourth getting up ahead of Nikki Taggart. In the Masters competition, Eve McChrystal takes gold ahead of Grace Young and Sharon Bird. A superb performance from Lara Gillespie to take the victory and the champion's jersey. And congratulations to all the medalists on what has been a very good weekend for Irish cycling after a very challenging year. That's it from the National Road Cycling Championships in Limerick. Models here. Bye for now. I didn't get to